Nottingham Forest have had one of the most nuts transfer windows I can ever remember from a promoted side. We go to the starting 11 for their game against West Ham this weekend. This is a new player, this is a new player, this is a new player, new player, new player, new player, new player, new player, new players. 15 in total, lots and lots of new players. And it's not just that. We've got Husum Auer, a Leon player who is being linked strongly to Nottingham Forest at the moment. So yet another young player to bring in, try and get into this starting 11. How is it all going to look? So before we can get to answering the question of how Auer is going to fit into this team, we need to talk a little bit about how this team plays. Now, at the moment in the Premier League, Nottingham Forest are playing very similarly to the way that they played at the end of last season in the Championship under Steve Cooper. So we've got this 3-5-2 formation with two midfielders with an attacking midfielder in front of them and two strikers. And the general principles are quite simple. What you're going to see from Forest, particularly when they're playing in the Premier League, is they're going to be dropping deep to absorb pressure from attacking teams. So you'll get your back five all squeezed in, your two midfielders in front, and then these two players here just looking for the out balls and the general idea is that you defend you win the ball back and when you get the ball back you hope that one of your midfielders gets the ball is able to carry it so Oral Mangala is a really good ball carrier the idea is that he'll carry the ball out here as he's doing this Taiwo Awani will be getting to the central spaces he's going to be a classic striker so he's going to get in the box cause problems there and then you'll see Brennan Johnson floating around here and helping in the build-up so usually what will happen here is that Johnson will float out to the ball side and you would expect then a pass from Mangala into the feet of Johnson Johnson himself will then dribble towards the byline and then you'll either see him pass to Awani straight on or he'll play the cutback here and you would hope someone like Jesse Lingard would be here waiting for the shot. This is how they scored against West Ham, actually. The ball comes back to Lingard, he has a poor shot, bounces off the keeper, goes to Awani, and he scores. So this is very transitional football, and a lot of Forest's transfer window reflects that. So all the players that we've looked at, so Awani was brought in from Union Berlin in Germany. They played very counter-attacking football. Jesse Lingard, we know, is a great transitional player. He's good at getting forward in space. He's a good box arriver, loves to score from the edge of the box in transitional moments. Oral Mangala and Lewis O'Brien, two very similar players, both very good ball carriers. Um, they'll be great at getting the ball forward into these moments in transition as well. We've got these two new wingbacks, so Harry Toffolo from Huddersfield and Nico Williams from Liverpool. These are going to be players who are going to love getting forward into these sorts of areas and playing these balls in behind defences so that Awani and Johnson can run onto them. So there's definitely a transitional element to the way that Forest have set up this season. So the big question is, where does Auer fit into this system? And there's two potential places I think that he would fit in. Firstly, he could play on the left-hand side of this double pivot. So let's move Mangala out of the way. Hassam Auer has played on the left side of a double pivot for Leon. He's a left-sided player. He loves to drift out wide in possession of the ball. And we can see him doing plenty of good build-up stuff and uh, especially these sorts of passes that we saw before. So ball carrying into this area and then that pass through to Johnson in the left half space here. That's the sort of thing that we could see our doing. The only problem with playing our in this area is this. We've got lots of options. So Remo Freuler from Atalanta. We've got Czech Kuyate as well has been brought in from Crystal Palace. Ryan Yates is already on the books there. And once you add Mangala in here too, We've just got lots and lots of options for those two central midfield slots. And so the obvious thing to do then is to maybe move our forward and have him in competition with Jesse Lingard for this 10 spot behind the two nines. Now having our in competition with Lingard is quite nice because they're two very different profiles of player. We've already looked at how Jesse Lingard is a good transitional player. He's good at getting forward. He's a good box arriver and scores lots of goals. He's also good out of possession. Husum Auer is also good at a lot of those things, but he is slightly different in a lot of respects. And the best way to look at that is to look at the data. So on the board in front of me, I've got a pizza chart of Husum Auer's data from last season for Lyon. And there's a few interesting things that strike me as I look at it. First one is defensively, really impressive numbers from a player who's thought of as being quite a creative presence on the field. So there's no danger that when you play our is one of a midfield two, that he would be able to do the defensive work that is required. So he's quite a unique player in that respect, very creative, but also decent defensively. 
The other thing to look at is in terms of a lot of the metrics that we would talk about when we're talking about transitions. So things like progressive passing and carry dribble volume, you're not seeing maybe quite so much volume as you would want from that. Now, obviously you do have to take into account the fact that he's playing for a different team, but on this pizza chart, the things that are standing out aren't necessarily the things that you would want to see in transition. So the big number here is link up play volume. Oh, is really good on the ball, really good at short passing, and would be able to control tempo and, and move the ball around well. Something that we've not really seen in that Forest team so far. We've also got a good ball retention ability as well, so he would be good under pressure, he would be able to retain possession and would be able to hold onto the ball long. But these things like carry and dribble volume and progressive passing then are a little bit lower. And that does raise questions about the way that our would fit into this team. The other thing to notice from this pizza chart before we move on is the fact that actually Auer is a really productive player. So we're seeing him generating XG, largely from creative moments rather than ball progression. Again, a little bit of a red flag in terms of a transitional team, but we are seeing him being very creative around the box and generating good XG from, from those creative moments. And then the other things that we're seeing is he's picking up the ball in the opposition box and he's taking a lot of shots as well. And I think in this sense, he's probably slightly different to someone like Lingard, who's a box arriver. So he's going to arrive in those transitional moments. What we're going to see from our is the ability to inhabit the box, generate chances from outside the box for his teammates, but also take those chances himself. So in Husum Hour, Nottingham Forest actually have a slightly different profile of player to a lot of the other players that they have in their squad, a squad that's been built for transitional football. And actually, Auer could be quite important in that sense if he's able to offer Steve Cooper something different that a lot of other players can't offer him. The ability to hold onto the ball, to be able to possess the ball for longer, to be able to slow the tempo of the game down and to be able to create in these moments where he's able to hold the ball in and around the opposition box. Of course, the big question on everyone's lips about Nottingham Forest is how they're going to integrate so many new players into their system. But if they do bring in Hussam Auer, he is a player who offers something quite different from what they've already got. And so it'll be exciting to see how he turns out this season. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor, Ollie Kay, Amy Lawrence and Rafa Honigstein. There are journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.